Hello and welcome to the workshop, kicking off a brand new week with a brand new pair of sneakers. If you tune in regularly, then you know how we do. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you love sneakers because we do a brand new sneaker video almost every single day. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. Now, this pair of sneakers today, well, you know what? Let's break them out and then I'll tell you how I feel about them. So here they are, little drum roll, Brrr, bang, bang. The Nike Zoom Kobe 4 Pro Tro undefeated. These released August 24th, Mamba Day, 824, and retail was 180 bucks. Did not get a pair, but shouts to the good people over at Kicks R for us for looking out as they often do. Now these released alongside three other colorways, so there were four in total that Undefeated did. And what's funny about them is, I feel like they went from super hyped up to super forgotten about in like, three days. It was very quick. For those of you not familiar with Undefeated, it is a sneaker store in Los Angeles, California. They've done a ton of great work over the years, some really, really cool stuff. And I think this sneaker is awesome. I am a little biased when it comes to Kobe's in general. It is true. It has to be said, Nike did hit us with a little bit of an okie doke because these Kobe Pro Tros, right? They were supposed to have this new and updated tech, very revamped and they are not revamped. Having said that, the Kobe 4 was a good basketball sneaker back in 2008 when it originally released, and it's a good basketball sneaker now in 2019. Would have it been nice if they made it even better? Yes, of course it would, but it's still a really good sneaker on the court and off the court. This was my favorite pair from the pack. I love the Lakers colorway on this particular silhouette. You got the Kobe logo on one tongue, undefeated logo on the other, eight and 24 on the heel. Heels. Again, August 24th, Mamba Day, undefeated underneath that. And you can see they have like a shininess to them. It's a pretty cool look. I love the outline on the swoosh as well. I don't even know why. I don't even know if it's worth mentioning, but to me, it just gives it a little pop. It makes it look really good. And then you got the white and gold outsole. It's just a dope sneaker to me. I'm a huge fan of the Kobe line. Basketball wise, like on the actual court, it's one of the best, if not the best signature lines ever. And I think more than a lot of other basketball sneakers, they really do have that casual appeal as well. The Kobe 6 is one of my favorite sneakers of all time. If you tune in, then you've heard me say that before, I'm sure. Just the Kobe 4 to the Kobe 6, like that three year reign, that was like the pinnacle for me for Kobe sneakers. It's just really, really good. And this is the sneaker that kind of started that reign. I know there are some mixed feelings on this whole Pro Tro thing and bringing back old sneaker models. I love that Nike's doing it. Some of my favorite sneakers are basically available again. And I dig that. The LeBron 7 is re-releasing soon in a colorway or a couple colorways. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about these. I just need the Kobe 6 Grinch and I can die a happy man. That's it. The Kobe 6, oh Nike, please. Kobe 6 Grinch me, please. And hopefully it won't be too hyped up. You know, like with this shoe, I, I thought it was kind of funny. Like I said, the hype came. It was like an avalanche. It came so quickly and then all of a sudden it was gone. I feel like people heard Mamba Day and Undefeated and Kobe 4 and then they realized it's a Kobe 4 and there wasn't a ton of resale value and they were like, ah, forget about these. Better for me because I am a fan. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel about these. Were you on that hype train? And then did you disappear like a thief in the night? Or do you really, really dig them? Buckets is laughing from behind the camera. I don't know what he's laughing at, but let us know how you feel about these, about the Kobe 4, about the Pro Tro, about the Nike Okie Doke and no new tech within. However you feel, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, same time, same place right here at the workshop. And the AC was out for a little while down here. It was a, it was a rough weekend, but back up and running. So we will be back tomorrow. Hope to see you here. Adios.